Right now I'm in the forest and it's a place that I visit a lot. It's very near to the place where I live. It's above my town and from the roads of my town I literally saw fog up in the forest so I start going up with the idea that I'm gonna do the morning frost on the trees in the fog but it seems that the fog stops at, at, at a certain point and that is why I stopped the car I got my gear out and we will try to capture probably these mountain roads I don't know if I'm gonna have uh, an interesting path or trail in the forest to, to photograph but uh, I will start with this idea that I'm, that I'm gonna concentrate myself on mountain roads and see what other shots may appear so let's go I stopped very quickly because I saw this curve going in that direction now a very short and simple tip it doesn't matter if it's winter don't photograph into the sun don't photograph in the direction from where the light comes from the reason for not photographing into the light it's the same no matter the situation when you are photographing into the light the saturation of the colors goes down the contrast goes up the details goes down so it's it's not a pleasant image to look at The good thing is that I'm already closing into the fog, so the landscape should be more spectacular and more interesting to photograph. Just as I'm talking to you, I'm seeing the first shot. So. I think it would be nice because of this hoarfrost to photograph also some details. I came from there and there's a curve over here and I really like the fog in there and also the fact that the forest it's covered the uh, the trees form a tunnel and this is a very interesting shot I think it's gonna look really good I'm trying a completely different shot you see these uh, trees that have no leaves on them and the, all the branches are thin well I'm trying to frame them something like this and then to have the sky the bare branches reaching out to the sky it's almost like a sign of desperation it's like reaching for something that you you can't reach basically it's i think this shot even though it's not spectacular can be a really beautiful metaphor for a lot of things also you should have the courage to try new things new approaches you should try and force yourself to think differently and try to find compositions that look different just to experiment and see what it works and what doesn't some of the details I photographed today remind me of paintings by Jackson Pollock the reason I'm photographing here is because I have a little bit of darkness because of this tunnel of trees and over there there is light and the differences in darkness and light as they are seen by the sensor of the camera are much bigger than to your eyes so bear in mind that this is a very easy way to create contrast and to also direct the eye toward that region over there I think that in a day like this you can also concentrate on finding interesting shapes in the forest and these shapes may be one tree, one special tree, multiple trees combined together uh, or shot from a position that can create some interesting shape but uh, and also the details and these graphical lines look very beautiful in my personal opinion if you have other opinions just use the comment section below but in my opinion this looks very good and can create graphical images if you want simplistic graphical images I guess this was it for today so I photographed roads in the mountain covered by snow the forest in hoarfrost details of the forest and uh, shapes of trees of black trunk trees uh, on the white of the snow creating some graphical images so I hope you enjoyed this vlog I hope you learned something from it 
consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and spreading the word about it. And until next time, keep on photographing. It's the only way to get better. Bye-bye.